Hey everyone, Anthony from Pretty Print It here. In today's video, I want to continue talking about Flask Classy. And I want to show you how to use three different things in Flask Classy to make writing applications a little easier when you're using it. The first is using custom routes. So right now I have these three routes set up, index, get, and account. And let me demonstrate member, the index. This is the index, and if I go to account, I have the account page. But if I wanted a different route instead of account, I could add the route decorator. So let me import it from Flask Classy. And then if I just put the route down here, so add route, and let's say user page. So if I refresh this, this no longer exists. But if I go to user page, it does. It returns the account page. So if you wanted to add more routes, you can just stack them above the method and they will all link to that. The next thing I want to show you is URL4. So let me import URL4 from Flask. And I'll just put it in this user page route because we're already looking at it. So the URL is so if I say URL for index, this doesn't quite work because it's not specific enough. I need to specify the class first and then the method inside of the class. So to do that, I'll use the class name, member view, colon, and then index. So let me save this and run it. And I get the URL is member. If I wanted the account page, save that and refresh it tells me member slash user page. So that's just basically how you use URL4. Very simple. And the last thing I want to show you is the before and after request methods. So if I say before request, it's going to take in self and then the name. And it's a method. And let's say I'll print this is happening before the request. So let me refresh this. And then I have this. This is happening before the request. If I want to reference the name, I can do something like this. So in the string name and refresh this again. So this is happening before the account request. So it takes in the name and it tells you um, the name of the request that you're calling. If I did the index, it will say this is happening before the index request. And then after request is similar. So after request, self, name. And I also need the response so I can return it. This is happening after the and I'll return response so let me refresh the page look at the log so this is happening before the index request and this is happening after the index request so we see both so those three things are really simple um, there's something that you would use in your application I'll put a link to the docs for Flask Classy in the description below if you want to take a look at the other things that I could do because what I've shown you in these two videos aren't everything. It's just like an introduction so you can be familiar with it and you can explore it further if you want to use it in your own projects. So if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or requests for videos, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. So I will talk to you tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching.